Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we now know the nominees for Game of the Year 2020 and unsurprisingly, at least to me, The Last of Us Part 2 is one of them. The list includes some mega popular titles as one would expect. So Animal Crossing New Horizons from Nintendo, it's one strong choice in there because it is a very successful game in terms of sales, but it is also a game that brings new features to the table that other Animal Crossing games didn't have. The game is solid overall and no doubt has a chance to to be there. There is also Final Fantasy VII Remake and it is another all-time classic that has been revived in the best way possible according to a lot of fans and generally a very good game for fans and new players alike. I can't comment on Doom Eternal because I'm not a Doom player, I don't play first person shooters that much if at all, but it is a Doom game, the franchise is very successful and I'm sure that it is doing things right to be there in this list. Hades is another very solid game, with a lot of praise from players and critics alike. It's one of the games that excel at delivering a very enjoyable experience with excellent level design, compelling gameplay, with different weapons and difficulties, and a very gorgeous artwork. In short, it's doing what games are supposed to do. Unfortunately, it did not get big press coverage and also not so many fan coverage, maybe because it is more of a niche game, so this makes it less noticeable. Ghost of Tsushima is what I think 2020's pleasant surprise. It came in the right time to remind some game makers and studios what gaming is about and to redefine the notion of open world gaming and how to make an open world game that doesn't fall into boring repetitiveness. This is something that big games like Assassin's Creed franchise is being criticized for. The game recently added a huge DLC for free, bringing things like free multiplayer and more game modes. I think this further consolidates its place in this list, and it is my personal choice within the ones there. The artwork is also very gorgeous. There is this Kurosawa mode, and of course the themes of medieval Japan and the Mongol invasion, all of that adds more positiveness to the game. And last but not least, the Last of Us Part 2. We all know how things evolved in the past few months and how this game was the center of attention for a few weeks because it was and still is a colossal breach between what gamers and self-proclaimed critics think of it because of the leaks, because of how Sony and Naughty Dog dealt with the leaks, because of the choices that they did. I think it is pretty much clear why this game isn't really very warmly accepted by fans at least. And I am one of those majority of gamers that believe that this game is a propaganda of wokeness and forcing first world issues in a medium where it shouldn't belong that is gaming. The game has eight nominations in general. I think the most questionable of all is the game of the year nomination. I don't think it deserves that place. It also surprisingly has a nomination for best narrative. I think this one is one of the biggest jokes I have ever heard or read because even people who try to be more like quote unquote objective and fair find this game to be problematic when it comes to narrative. The odd pacing of events, the overuse of flashbacks, plot armor, the joke of an ending that makes no sense at all, are very few examples of the problems this game has in terms of narrative and storytelling. And yeah, it is stupid that they nominated it for best direction, and we also know that Naughty Dog is notoriously bad when it comes to overwork and the miserable work conditions Crunch creates. Suffice to say that 70% of its stuff left after Uncharted 4 and vacant places after a lot of devs left after the finishing of The Last of Us Part 2. No one wants to work in such an environment. Best performance nomination also for Laura Bailey and Ashley Johnson, Abby and Ellie respectively. Game direction and the narrative affect the performance of these people. I think that should go to Daisuke Tsuji, that is Jin from Ghost of Tsushima. I think he's the one that deserves this 
best performance the most. The Last of Us Part 2 excels in some departments, for example, accessibility, and I think it is a reference in that, and I think it does deserve that kind of nomination or even winning it. It also has a very solid voice and audio, can give them that, but other nominations are also to be contended between other games. The Game of the Year nomination after Last of Us Part 2 is not necessarily because of its political agenda and the propaganda that it became. It does excel in few departments, like I said, but the lack of competition also contributed to the nomination of this game. The world has been hit hard by the pandemic, and yeah, there weren't a lot of games to be released, and some serious contenders like Cyberpunk 2077 also has been delayed for 2077 times. Doesn't mean that it will make things easier for The Last of Us Part 2 to win. I think Ghost of Tsushima is a very, very strong contender. It's the one that I think should be winning it. But again, things have turned in favor of The Last of Us Part 2 because it is the favorite game for some people for some specific reasons. I wouldn't be surprised if it wins the award eventually, even though I think if it wins this award, it will consolidate the negative opinion gamers have of some self-proclaimed critics and journalists. And after all, the game's award will not change what gamers think of this game in particular, neither will it boost the sales to the expectations of Sony and Naughty Dog. It is just an award given by a few select people, but they do not reflect what gamers think and they do not reflect the sales of X or Y game. It will also be interesting how the Game Awards of 2020 will be held as the restrictions caused by the pandemic are still in effect, so there is that fact as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Please tell your opinions in the comment section down below, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.